Today we are going to go for a walk around a small town in Iceland that less than 1% of tourists come to, Sun and Island. There's lots of puffins here. We're here for the puffins. But right now we're going to go do some street photography with the Leica Q3. Atticus shirt. Blink-182 fans. From 2001 we'll get it. How do I leave? It's the Airbnb. This is my pizza oven. Hot tub. Wow. Impressive. Here it is, the Airbnb. I don't know, I think we're gonna go down there where the ships are. Can we get on a scooter? It's probably too early for a scooter, right? I don't know, so I've been shooting these so far at contemporary, like a look. I think I'm gonna switch it up. So I'm gonna hit this button and I'm gonna go from contemporary, to want classic. Let's shoot a few black and white high contrast. Disrupt what's going on with these beautiful greens here. Oh, this is a good shot for black and white high contrast. Did it. Beautiful noises. Very relaxing, this area of town. I don't know, do we just go for the church? This one seems a little bit like a layup. Usually this used to be maybe graves or something. So I don't like to go on the, the grass. I don't want to get haunted. This looks nice. Oh yeah, who's your friend? It's identifying my friend as a person. Interesting. I'm gonna go down to F1.7 to isolate our friend as best we can. I kinda like the empty flagpole. I dig it. That looks weird, that's bad, that's bad. Continue our walk, uh, oh, let's go this way. Oh yeah, this is a great soccer pitch. Look at this. Yeah, all right, we're gonna switch temporarily back to contemporary. I don't think I have to be at 1.7 anymore. Let's go down to 2.8. Uh oh, that's a thing. I'm out doing a thing. Also the flags that you can kind of see up here is because uh, it is the 50th anniversary of when that volcano, or no, different volcano, maybe this volcano. One of the volcanoes stopped erupting this coming weekend. So now, celebration. But I miss it by a couple of days. Oh, this is a good one. I like this. We're gonna go down to, and do F8 is great on this because I kind of want a little bit of everything here. I don't know if this will work for a uh, black and white, but let's see. Nah, it kind of looks like trash panda in black and white. Let's keep going. Going back to F2.8, continue my walk. Here, we'll go look at some pictures. So here we have the uh, 50th anniversary ribbons. And there it is. Wild. Cool guys don't look at explosions. And if you happen to be a wedding photographer and you're watching this, I'm doing a new video over on the members website every Monday to Friday, all September long. Yesterday, we talked about how to not get ghosted on inquiries. And next, we're talking all about booking 40 weddings per season. If you're interested in that, head on over to the members website. As always, 100% money back guarantee. You join, it's not for you. Send me a message. I'll send your money back. Also, you get access to like $4,500 worth of other courses when you sign up instantly too. This is a nice and simple house for a black and white photo. Maybe we do that. How's that? Wish the garbage cans weren't there, but that's all right. They kind of disappear in the black and white. This is also an interesting house. I love the architecture around here. A little sunroom in the back. Built in 1950. I don't actually know that. I'm just reading off this sign here. Always nervous there's gonna be a naked man just rolling up to the window anytime I do a photo like that. Hasn't happened now, it did happen one time. One time in Brighton, but that was intentional. He was posing for us in the background of the bride and groom. We all saw him. Thrive Photography Conference, Lisa Devlin, Rebecca Carpenter was there. Oh, where do we want to go? It's a cat. Are cats good for street photography? I think these lines are good for street photography. Meow. The car culture here is uh, really next level. All these Land Cruisers, very nice. Look, new one, 
old one? Both very nice. Just like Leica's. See what I did there? I brought it back to Leica. Shoot them M4, it's a nice time. You shoot a, a Q3, also a nice time. There's a defender down this way. Let's go take a picture of it in front of these colorful houses. And I will change it back to Leica Contemporary Highlight Weighted Metering. Oh yeah, those houses look great in the Leica Contemporary look. It is a look for the Q3 and uh, you connect to the app and you can download a few different looks. I think there's like five right now. There's a sepia that no one will ever use, a blue tone that no one will ever use, and uh, the contemporary, which I like, and classic too. I don't know if I can make a photo out of this. Man, great house too. Street sign kind of in the way a little bit. Let's go down to F2. It's not going to do a lot, but it did a little. Some nice gardening in the front here. I pretty much just am doing this to show Marshall Angus uh, new design ideas for his house because he's really into uh, steel. Oh, this is nice. This is a black, this is very cinematic. I don't even know if I can do that. So I'm going to go down to F1.7 to hopefully isolate the, uh, <laughs> the, the clothespins. What am I doing? Here, we're going to focus on that. I can't. We're just going to do a regular shot. I'm going to do it from here. How about that? I'm going to go down to F4. A four is nice. There we go. Garbage. Everything looks so much better in black and white in the camera. And then I get home and I'm never sure it's the right decision. I'm gonna switch back to color so that the, uh, back to contemporary. So the lander over there kind of pops. I move a little bit this way. Oh, it would have been great if the Defender was right there. That's the spot for it. Oh, this is good too. That was a better angle. I don't know why I spent so long trying to get the clothespins in focus and the rest of it out of focus like I'm some sort of art student. A nice house too. We're gonna swap back to black and white. It's nice that high contrast and uh, contemporary side by each. Since we're only doing horizontal photos for the most part, I'm gonna put you on fish eyes so you can see, see the everything. There, how's that? So now if I rotate, my horizon doesn't lock sadly, but also uh, if you're running into using the electronic shutter, on the Leica Q3, don't. I'm gonna have to go back to contemporary colors for this. Don't know if it was worth it. The electronic shutter has some extreme rolling shutter and uh it's a bit of a bummer it's a really neat city happy i came here i'm gonna go on this side of the street to avoid uh potentially talking with people and having them ask what i'm doing i'm kind of embarrassed to be doing this all of the time even after uh, i started my youtube account in 2008 it's still weird to do it in real life really a little color palette if i've ever seen a contemporary like a color palette it's this one and we're gonna have to rotate sideways sorry about that i don't know if it's worth it it's long wow never seen such a white picket fence before. Where's the photo though? Photo here. Way more aerodynamic caravans here than in uh, North America. nice. Our backyard would be incredible for photos, but they're, they're out there smoking darts, so. As we get closer to the water, it's uh, starting to get a little windier. We go for a person included in the shot. We're going to punch in a little bit. Oh yeah, did we do it? Are we street pros yet? Every house here is interesting. They also all have uh, years posted on them, which is very helpful. Got the Cassie South Park up over here. Howdy, gentlemen. So I punched in on the back button there to 75 millimeters. So every time you do it, you go from 28 to 35 to 50 to 75 to 90, and you lose megapixels each time. But I felt that it was, uh, it was the correct frame. And it'll actually save the full size file, so your full 28 millimeter file will actually be uh, in the raw file. And also if you shoot it in black and white, it'll be just a regular color DNG. 
um, but it'll give you the full 28 millimeter version, but it will pre-crop it in for you. Let's try this again. Did we do it that time? I don't think so. Here, we've never taken a macro photo with this camera. How do you macro? Here we go, you flip it over, and then you hit the, uh, the silk flowers, the macro shot. Questionable focus. My Airbnb host has sent me uh, some tips for opening the door because I am inept at doing basic life skills like opening doors in Scandinavian countries. Oh, this whole street's nice. Start off in the corner here. I don't know where all the people hang out. There's a cruise ship, so there's gotta be like at least a couple hundred people. Is that a photo? This has gotta be the spot, right? Oh, look at this. Every building's different. This one's the differentest. Just like uh, two chains is most expensivest. This one is the most differentest. I don't know what I can do with that. I think we turn around, it looks like the main street is this way. Oh my gosh. Good news, everyone. This is the la maybe the last remaining one. So bonus, as you can't see yet, because it's really small, the pig appears to be on a lot of drugs or he's hung over. The new pig on the, uh, the flags here looks cuter. They've, they've realized that, hey, maybe we shouldn't let crazy people do our logo design. And uh, they, they made it cute. This is the last one I've seen. I look at all of them because I'm mad. They don't all have this pig. This is the best pig. This is the new pig. See, cute. No one wants that. Everybody wants messed up pig. I think I like the photos today with the no people in them. I feel like it looks more uh, Granny Days Jason Edward Hopper obsession. Look at this spot. Oh, as soon as I said that. That's a great crew. Went into 75 for that shot. Fish looks like he's having a really good time for a fish that is about to be eaten. Got some keyboards, some submarine controllers, and that gaming bundle. It's only a matter of time. I have the app on my phone. It's all set up, ready to go. All I gotta do is scan the QR code. No chance I'm not gonna ride one of those later today. The, uh, the bustling main intersection of the city here. I guess they're really into puffins here. Makes sense why I'm here. Also the, the stoplights. Up in the north, they're hearts. So instead of circular lights, they're hearts. Because Iceland loves you, but only in the north. In the south, GTFO. Oh, do we go to the water? Let's go to the water. You ever seen an ocean before? Full-size truck in there. It's a 10 out of 10 boat combo right here. This might be the photo of the day so far. I don't know. I'm not good at judging in my camera. I judge afterwards. So I'm gonna punch into 35. I think 35 is the uh, is the one. Yep. Here we are. Water. <laughs> like, there's the big hunk of rock sticking out of the harbor here. Let's go back to black and white. Did you enjoy the black and white section of this video? So we're going back to monochrome high contrast. Puffin and Volcano 2 are number one thing to do here. Wow, okay. Let's see. Puffin is just around the corner. That was a useless photo. Had that been film, no chance I would have taken it. It's just everybody waiting to get back on their ship. To go to, I don't know, where do you go after here? Norway? Greenland? Probably Norway, Denmark, one of those. Just get real aggressive with our street photography now. Get this guy eating. Nah, he's running away. It's a cool area. Oh wow, highlight weighted really uh, makes it look a lot dingier than it is. So oh, kids walking across the street. All matching too. Too bad I'm in monochrome and everything matches anyways. Why don't we get wagons like this in Canada, North America? Oh. I guess that's it. There's no more GoPro clips. 
got some more photos for you. Don't forget, member's website goes up to $399 October 1st. So if you want to get in and you want to get all of this, plus all of these September videos that are coming out Monday to Friday, every single day, all September long, get in now. They're on the screen right now. As always, 100% money back guarantee. If you get it, it's not for you. Just let me know. And uh, see you next time.